think this whole thing is is so is so murky. You know, when you go through the website of the National Cathedral, mm -hmm. where they they indicate the board of trustees, then you see government's conduct. You see the lack of transparency, the lack of accountability, the lawlessness. I am deeply worried that these eminent priests who have collectively as clergy kept this country together. We all revered them. I mean, you know the role they play in mediation, calling us to order peace, you know, and giving us insights into divine authority. We all revere our priests. The president puts them together and is engaged in this lawlessness. If you go through the, uh, the list of the board of trustees, this gentleman who has been presented here as uh, the executive director mm -hmm. of the secretariat, which has been presented as a private entity. Will you believe if I tell you, MFA, that when you go through the list of presidential... The gentleman especially, are you talking the, about the name if is, you put names? Yes, Dr. Paul Opoku Mensa, okay. who is the executive, executive director, director of the secretariat, a secretariat presented as a private entity. When you go through the list of presidential staffers, mm -hmm which the president presented to parliament in compliance with the Presidential Office Act of 1993, mm -hmm. Act 463. You come to page 15 of this report, which all members of parliament have copies. Item number 96, Dr. Polo Poku Mensa mm -hmm. is here, overseer of the National Cathedral, is his position. Why is the Ghanaian taxpayer paying somebody who works for a private board of trustees? It is wrong. It's against our public financial management laws. So the whole arrangement, the whole setup, is just deeply embedded in illegality and lack of forthrightness. Then so is it, is it your argument, Mr. Blackwa, yes. that once it was a pledge by uh, the, the <clears throat> then candidate Ekufuado or President Ekufuado now, it should remain a private pledge and that as a nation, as our leader, if he finds it necessary for us to undertake such a project as a nation, we should not? So the argument... Or you would want them the, to go through the proper procedure for that to happen? The argument must be understood. If you are keeping something private, you are putting up or erecting private structures. Keep it private. Mm. You see a very confused government. So you say you have a private board of trustees, and yet the Ghanaian people are paying for the executive director. But many Ghanaians have asked to Paul, contribute. Dr. There's Paul, a code Dr. out Dr. there Paul, that people no, no, are please, contributing to. Please, please, let, let, let me answer your question. And so, Government is not able to be clear <laughs> whether this is private or it is, it is public, even though it has set it up as private. And you see, when you set something up as private, it's away from public scrutiny. Mm -hmm. Parliament cannot summon them, cannot go through their books. The Auditor General is virtually you know, removed and all of that. And yet, we are paying key officials there and now we are seeing an egregious violation of Article 178, where public funds, huge amounts of public funds, are being doled out, siphoned. And what my checks mm, indicate that is not even all the funds, you know, that go through this this entity. Mm -hmm.